Hi everybody, I'm Mark from Route 249. We're back again with the Zoom HD16 and we're going to make sure that by the end of today you're going to know how to change the effects and get it to sound pretty much the way you want it to. What we have here, I have made a new project by hitting this black button. I renamed it to Effects Edit. Plug my guitar in, it's on red. Uh, this is the channel I'm going to work with. And if you don't know how to change your effects, we're going to show you that real quick. Hit input, source, and you can either hit the wheel and it'll change to the different tracks, or you can just hit the button and we're going to work with number one. I'll exit out of that. We're going to put a different effect in there. We're going to hit shift and insert effect. That's our chromatic tuner on the first one. If you hit it again, then it's the different effects. Has clean, distortion, uh, bass, mics, um, mastering. Okay. Now, as you hit this wheel, it'll show you what those different effects sounds like. Um, here's our distortion channels, uh, patches actually. Now before I get too far into this, I want to explain to you that these patches you can change, but it only changes it once you store it on the hard drive for this project. It's not going to save it on another project. When you start a new project or go back to an old project, it will only be on the project you saved it on. So if you want it on multiple projects, you'll need to save it on each one. Oh, and the other thing I wanted to tell you, like each one of them, whether it's the base one or not, will have empty ones. If you go to your mic, it will have empty ones. Not just ones that have been preset, but you'll also have ones that are uh, empty. So on the distortion, if we wanted to go to an empty slot, uh, it's on number 46 now. Then I can start from scratch and uh, do the same thing as what I'm doing when I'm changing the other patches. This one, when you would just be starting from scratch, it would have no information in it. You, you'll have to put it all in. This, on the other hand, if you find one that's close to what you're liking, but isn't quite right, then you can tailor that one to sound the way you want it to. Well, I'm going to go back to uh, the 5150 for, I suppose, Eddie Van Halen 5150. But let's say it just sounds a little heavier than I like it, so I wanted to change it. And this is how you do it. You just hit edit. There, your compressor, you can turn it on or off. If you happen to turn it on, you can go through different options. And you see up here this black box with, has an E in it saying that you have actually changed this channel. If you decide that you have changed it around and you wanted it to sound different and now you got it all messed up, all you have to do is exit out of it and it goes back to the original way that it was until you store it. All right, so when you hit your, oh, we have to insert effect, because I exited all the way out of it. Uh, we want to edit it, all right, and we'll just shut that one off. That isn't what I wanted to change. Here you have, it has an auto wah, but all that is is one of the effects. They, they have two different places where they have effects. Uh, this is one of them, and... Here, just hit enter and it turns it on, but let's say you didn't want wah, uh, you can just turn this dial and you can 
go through some of the different ones that they have. There's a tremolo, and let's say that you want a little tremolo, but that boy, that's just too fast for me. So you just arrow down, and now it has the depth, how thick you want it in your sound. Uh, there's your rate if you want it fast or you want it slow. Okay, uh, if you didn't want it, decided, well, I really didn't like that too. I'll just turn it off by hitting enter again. And then we can go, we're just arrowing back and forth to different options. Here's our preamp. And that's probably where the grit's coming from. See, it's a little heavy for me. So I'm going to arrow down here. Uh, there's the gain. I can turn the gain down. still heavier than I wanted it. It's still heavier than I wanted it. So, let's look at what the other things, I can turn the tone down, maybe that's what's doing it. No, not really. Uh, is there any other options? It's got these different cabinets, and that's not, what cabinet I play it through doesn't make any difference. It's got three different options there. Uh, the level, uh, uh, that's not going to change it. So what I'm going to do is, I'm just going to go back up here to where it says the preamp is PV drive. And now I can just run through some of the different preamps that they have. Maybe I can find one that fits better what I'm looking for. Well, that might be all right, but it's just too heavy still. So I'll just turn some gain down. I like that better. And so I'm going to leave that there. Then you have your three band equalizer, and you can just change that by whichever number you're wanting to change it by. Um, that's your bass. Let's, I'm going to turn the bass down a little bit. Uh, the mids, I'm going to turn up. That's all right. And you got your, you turn it up or down for your EQ level. Um, course is off. We can turn it on, and then it has some other, other uh, effects here that you can put it through. that on there anyways and so here's our total patch level say I want it a little bit louder because this is going to be my leech channel or whatever it is and so it has some other other stuff here uh, volume pedal if you want to hook it up and you can rename it here we're going to rename it to uh, We'll just make that 2150 because it's not quite as much bite as the other one has. And we can go through all that sort of stuff. So, um, And then it just goes back through the stuff again if you want to do it. Now let's say that you found the sound and you thought that that was all right the way you wanted it. All right, so now we hit this function button over here. And now it asks you, well, it says store patch. Uh, it gives you two options on the functions. You can store it or you can swap it. If you want to store it, it's going to overwrite anything that's in the patch that you want to store it at. If you want to swap it, then what it does was it takes the one that you've written and it puts it in the place that you want it to be, but the one that is in that place, it puts back over where you just got done making that patch. Now, this is all going to happen in your distortion uh, portion of your patches. It wouldn't be in your cleans or in your mastering. It'll all be uh, done in your distortion area. I'm not going to swap it. We'll, I'll hit function again. It goes back to store. So I want to store this. I have those empty uh, 
patches and we're going to put one there it says store two and we just go over to one of these we'll go to 45 it's one of the empty ones and we're going to store it there it says store it's asking you and yes we want to store it there okay now we can exit out of that oh I'm sorry I hit edit just exit back out now you have that that sound is here on your this channel uh, because you already set it to your input so it's always going to be there anytime that you're working with this so let's say that you're going to my input source now is going to be number four if I'm going there and I want that same sound in four as I have in one so now I'll exit out of it because I've already said it that I want to put it in four. We'll just go there and I'll show you that it's... So it puts that in four as well. Uh, if you wanted a different sound there, then you'd have to shift and insert... Uh, let's say you wanted a, a clean channel there. So we're going to go ahead and and we're going to edit this. Well, I'm going to exit out of that. I'm going to go to a clean one. Okay. Uh, we'll go to the high watt. Okay. And I'll show you the swap function. What we do, we're just going to, we're going to edit it. Uh, I like everything that's in there. The only difference is I, I it's too low, so I'm going to turn this channel. I'm going to change this to where it's louder. Yeah, that's all right. So that's what I've done there. Now I'm going to just go ahead and save this high watt patch, and uh, actually I'm going to swap it. I'm going to swap it with uh, the number one patch. This is number five. I'm going to put it in the number one. So I'm going to swap this patch. It says swap two. And we're going to go over here to number one. So it's, it's in a handy spot for me to get to. So we're going to swap it there. Ask me, swap? Yes, I do. Number five now is, instead of it being number one for the ensemble, now it's one's high watt. See, they just switched those two. All right. So that pretty much concludes this lesson, and you know how to tailor them. If you want to change any of the sounds in the empty ones, just go to an empty one, hit your edit, and go ahead and go through all the different options, and you have to change everything yourself. So I hope that you found this informative, and I... I hope you're on the track to making your sounds the way you want them in your Zoom. And we'll see you next time where music meets the highway of life here on 249. Take care.